Uh, good afternoon. I just completed a briefing uh, with uh, our executive team uh, to uh, begin um, uh, the next step of preparation. So uh, we've be, been preparing for this since Monday. Uh, the latest tracking um, tells us that this is going to become uh, more serious than less. Uh, we've moved uh, to uh, an extreme rating uh, from the National Weather Service in terms of the impact uh, on New Jersey. Uh, and the current tracking is, um, is going to uh, lead to, if it continues, a serious significant event in the state. Uh, the Emergency Operations Center has been activated. We've been preparing, as I said, Department Coordination, the State Police, the National Guard, uh, Homeland Security and Preparedness, uh, the DEP, uh, Department of Transportation, and Human Services. Uh, before I entered the room, I signed a, a declaration of a state of emergency um, already in anticipation of what's going to be happening. That will allow General Reith um, to begin to deploy uh, National Guard resources uh, throughout the state immediately, um, and he is begun to execute on those orders uh, which I just signed. The state OEM is coordinating with every county, all 21, as they mobilize preparations at the county and local level. Uh, and this is very important to emphasize uh, for local elected officials and for county officials. Any request for any assistance must come through from the local to the county up to the state OEM. Uh, there, we will not be dealing with individual requests um, to the National Guard or others from localities. They have to go through the coordinated system. That's the only way for us to be able to assess and evaluate uh, the, uh, the, the relative uh, need of the various requests and to be able to get a handle on what's going on throughout the state on a real-time basis throughout all 21 counties. Anyone who has um, shore rentals or who are planning uh, to go to the shore this weekend, do not go. If your rental starts on Saturday or Sunday, do not go. Uh, as uh, the Colonel said, we are um, anticipating this to hit on Saturday night. And as a result, we won't know uh, well into Monday uh, what the level of um, potential damage is in those areas, both to property and to, uh, to any life that would be out there. And so we do not want folks going to, the, going to the shore this weekend, and we're urging them not to do it. If you're there at the shore now, um, in the midst of a rental that runs till Saturday or Sunday or um, a permanent home that you have there or you're visiting in some other way, uh, we would like and I'm urging folks to voluntarily leave um, either tonight or during the day tomorrow. But certainly by tomorrow night, I would ask everybody to be voluntarily out of the shore area.